So next up is Matthew, and he's going to give us a talk called Cato the Elder. Over to you, Matthew. Thank you. Uh, let me show my screen real quick. Yes. Oh, wow. That's a... That's me. Okay, there we go. And we should be in, ready to go. Okay, cool. So, um, hi, I'm going to talk to you uh, about a small thing uh, called Kato the Elder. Um, I work at a company that makes video games, and we recently uh, released a, a update 2.0 of Imperator Rome, a game centered around Rome. And so the person I want to talk to you about today is Kato the Elder. His real name was Marcus Porcius Cato. He was born in 234 BC, and he had different titles during his life, like Military Tribune, Questor, ID, Praetor, Consul, etc. I have no idea what those titles are, but they sound pretty cool, and I want to have that on my business card too. He should not be confused with Cato uh, the Younger, whose real name is Marcus Porcius Cato Utensis, who was actually his great-grandson, and has a fantastic life, but it's not the topic of today. Uh, Cato is mostly remembered for uh, writing the first known, pro, uh, known uh, poetry or artistic uh, book in Latin, which is a treaty about agricultura, which you could get from the name, the agricultura. It's, a, it's about agriculture and how, grows, how to grow stuff. Uh, but it was also uh, very, very shot uh, and marked by, in his younger days by the Second Punic War, which if you know nothing about history, it's the war between Rome and uh, the two big empires of Rome and Carthage, in which Hannibal, I mean Hannibal, sorry, I mean Hannibal uh, crossed the Alps with a bunch of elephants and uh, surprised the armies of Rome. Uh, even if uh, that was a very uh, bad defeat for Rome at the time, uh, they ended up winning anyway, and Carthage was uh, related to a second right. Cafo also hated the Greeks and everything Hellenic. Uh, he saw that as degenerates, and that included the fact that Hippocrates and everything coming from Greek medicine was bad. He refused to see a physician his whole life, and yet he died at 85. So who was wrong? I'm not sure. Anyway, moving on. The main thing Cato is remembered today is for this great phrase, Cetereum senseo Carthaginem esse delendam, shortened usually to Carthago delenda s, which in vulgar English is, furthermore, I think our flesh must be destroyed. It was actually something he came up with because he saw uh, Carthage as a threat. Even if, it, if they had been beaten, he still thought that they, would, they were dangerous and should be eliminated. How did he do that? He ended every time he had an occasion to talk in the, in, in the Senate by, furthermore, I think Carthage would be destroyed. It didn't matter what the topic was. It could be taxes, it could be potatoes, it could be the weather. He would still end his, uh, his, his, uh, his, his talk by, oh, and by the way, I think Carthage must be destroyed. Uh, his opponents actually caught up on the tactic and started ending up their own uh, talks every time by Carthago Servenda S, which is Carthas should be saved, which be uh, the main reason they opposed him was because uh, they thought Carthage was a useful bogeyman that would keep Rome uh, united uh, because civil war was a big threat at the time. Uh, eventually, Carf uh, the, the legacy of, uh, of, of Cato would actually uh, prevail and Carthage was actually destroyed in the Third Punic War. Uh, which paved the way for the Roman expansion that we all heard about in history books, like I heard when I was a young Frenchman. But why am I telling you all this? Because, I mean, all those guys are dead from, like, I don't know, 2,000 years by now. So, like, ask yourself, what is C++ Nemesis? What is the thing that must be destroyed? Is that another language? You know, like, Rust? I don't think so. Is that the lack of metaclasses, the fact that every time we think they're going to come, they actually don't? I don't think so. Is it like the fact that, I don't know, audio, network, 2D, whatever, is not in the standard library? I don't think so. No. C++ Nemesis is your own damn build files. Seriously, most of your build files are overcomplicated. I could set them on fire and rewrite them much more concisely, and it would make build easier, it would make package management easier, it would make multi-platform code uh, easier, it would make everything easier. And so, I have been trying to make talks at various conferences, but nobody really listens. So it's been two years now, and for two years, and I will continue from then, I will end all my talk the same way. And furthermore, I think your bill should be destroyed. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Matthew. Yeah. Sorry for Wonderful. So <clears throat> I see you're all talking about my nails in, in the chat. And yeah, I do have painted nails. No, someone's asked me if I fire my nails. No, I just cut the ends off when I throw them away like everyone else. 